Hello guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how can you implement a simple bash script which can save a lot of time. Let me tell you a simple story. One of my friend who was working on the server side, his daily routine task is to ensure that all the servers, all the websites hosted on those servers are responding fine. And he used to do it everything manually and spending 45 minutes to one hour on a daily basis. Now when I saw that, I felt, why can't we have a bash script created which can do the job? And in this video, I'm going to teach you those simple and easy tricks using which you can create a bash script. If you're working on the server side, you can either help yourself or many others whom you find working it manually. So let's move on to our screen and let's get started. Hey guys, now to achieve this, we require only two simple commands. One is the ping command, the other one is the find command. So let's see how to use them. So open command prompt and simply if I'm going to say ping www.google.com. Okay, now when I do this, what is happening? Immediately it starts pinging the Google server and is letting me know that the Google server is responding fine. And how do you know this from this line? When you see the loss is zero, that means the server is working fine. If it is anything other than zero, then there is some problem with the server or with the website. Now with this information, how can I use it in the bash script and build a script out of it? So let's see that. It will be quite interesting. Now for this, let's use ping and instead of google.com, this is just for a diagnostic purpose. Okay, you can replace with it with a IP address, an IP address or you can put any other website instead of www.google.com. It could be any other website that you will be using on a daily basis. Okay, now when I say ping this one, what is the output did we get? If I'm going to write only this one, right? If I say pause and save it and try to run the script, what is the output I'm getting? I'm getting a lot of information on my screen, but I do not need all the information. I need very specific information out of this entire range of informations. So what should I do? What I need is I need this first line and I need this line. Now this line is very important which is going to letting me know whether the website is currently responding or not. Okay. If the lost is zero that means it's responding. Right. So only two information out of the bulk of information that we have. So how do I really get that? I'm going to show you in the bash script. It's quite simple. All I have to do, I have to use a pipe symbol. What is the pipe symbol meaning? Entire output of the previous command will become input for the next command. So that after the pipe symbol, I can write the find command and get those output of the ping command into the find command and find command will, the, will do the job for me. So what I need in the, out of all, I need ping. Okay, I'm writing P capital P I N G. I don't, I am not writing pinging rather I'm writing ping. Okay. Ping. I'll tell you the reason why I'm writing ping, not pinging. I'll tell you that. Now this one, what exactly this information will give me? What, how this is going to run? If you see, it is only going to show me this information. Okay. Pinging, uh, ping statistics for 32 bytes. Okay, it is only showing me this specific information, nothing else. Wherever there, there is a word called ping, only those information are coming, rest is not coming. So we you got the trick. Now the next thing, what will I do? I need the lost one also, right? I need that. So all I will do, I'll put this. And instead of ping, I'm going to replace this with lost. Now look at the output, how this one is coming. Okay, every step you do, just see how the output is coming. Now if you see, this time it is going to provide me around three information. Okay, if you see there are three lines of information which has come. Now this tells me whether the site is successful or not. Yes or no? So what I will do, I'll implement the error level. How to implement the error level? Simply I will say if percentage or for all this I have videos. Okay, what is error level? All these basic things I have covered. Okay, so in case you have a doubt, please do go to my playlist and look for these videos. How to use a find. The previous video was around that. In detail explanation if you need. So now if percentage error level equals to equals to zero, that means it is successful, right? So what I'm trying to say here, I will echo what the website 
is responding responding fine okay so i am putting this as a message now if the error label is one that means there is some problem okay so what i will do i'll put this and i'm going to make this as one and i'm going to put a message failed or in capital you can write just to ensure you see it okay so i have written fail here let me see how this one is working so it started pinging ping statistics is fine lost and the website is responding fine you got it so you got the information now we, we will make it more sophisticated okay now let, let, let me do one thing let me write some you know jargons here so that means this website is wrong yes or no this website is wrong now if the website is wrong it should say failed because just just to create that situation i'm doing it let me save this and run the script okay what is the output we have got the website request is the website is responding fine uh, pinging request uh, ping request uh, please check the name and try again packet sent for lost zero okay why why did that happen this way okay so now look at it why why this happened this way the next command is this okay the the next command is this i did not change this i have to change this one also right i need to change this one as well so i changed it let me save it so now you will see the real output it should say fail at the end okay so experiment at every line okay so you can see it said failed now what i want i want all this information to go to a document okay i want all this information to go to a document so what i will do i'll simply write something like this and uh, create a document i'll say daily daily web check dot txt okay and let's copy this and paste it everywhere so what would happen it's going to write everything okay so what we will do we will make two things one uh, we will make a correct one and a wrong one getting it so here i will i'm going to make it google.com is the appropriate one fine so what, what is happening how we have written the same thing we have repeated this is for google.com this is for some wrong website let's say i want to do it for uh, youtube okay let's say i would like to do it for youtube i will uh, instead of this i am going to replace this with youtube youtube.com and let me copy this so you got the logic okay how it is working by now you should have got the logic okay so this too the google should say uh, you know working fine uh, website is working fine the this, the middle one should say fail the third one also should say their website is responding fine okay let's test it i'm going to give you a task okay this can this entire script you got the logic this can be highly uh, you know sophisticated you can design it in a sophisticated way okay but again this is the basic base of your logic based on that you can modify and do lot of things okay out of it okay now what would happen because i have written uh, you know you can see on my screen it has created a text file called daily web check now let me open this text file now what did you see it showed you all the statistics that pinging www.com the website is responding fine so this is one information we got then a pinging request could not uh, find for this one this is a wrong website so here it is said failed now uh, the third one is for uh, youtube.com right pinging youtube and you can see the website is responding fine now out of if you get such a report by just double clicking on it and you have got some 30 to 60 websites and you are simply double clicking on it and you are getting such a report it becomes quite easy for you to follow and this can be more sophisticated okay you want to create two two separate files one for success one for fail even that can be done okay so how can that can be done you think of it i have taught let me give you a simple task instead of me writing like this for 60 websites it will become heavy right heavy amount of code now what i would like to implement is an array and i have a video on array if you go to my bascript playlist there is a video on array okay check that video and understand using that array and there is something called set local enable delayed expansion 
using all these techniques how can you make this entire bulky script to a small script that can be done you, you have to spend little time i have given the knowledge all you have to do is exercise on that knowledge and try to build a simple script and comment me that you have done it okay comment your script or comment uh, comment it for everybody that you have done it or you have built a script which is quite simpler than this one okay you got all the logics you got all the basics how things works using these tricks you have to just build a small script rather than a huge one for 30 you know 50 to 60 script imagine how heavy this script will become i want to make it quite simple and this can be implemented using various logics one of the trick is using implementing an array and there is something called you can go through a loop and you, you have to use set local enable delayed expansion what are all this i have already created videos please do watch and do comment once you are successful so thank you guys for watching this we are going to move on to our next topic bye bye